California continues to work aggressively to help our communities manage and recover from the series of storms that have impacted the state over the past week. Today, Governor Newsom has declared a state of emergency in multiple counties to amplify the response to and the recovery from these winter storms. This order clears regulatory hurdles and increases the state's capacity to rapidly respond to the impact of these storms and will bolster long-term recovery operations. This executive order is just the latest action by the state to keep Californians safe. For the past week, the team here at the Governor's Office of Emergency Services has been coordinating the response to these storms on behalf of the state. As a part of this work, the governor activated the state operations center to monitor storm conditions and coordinate the state's response and support requests for assistance from our local governments. We're also closely coordinating with and supporting the work of state partners like Caltrans, the California Higher Patrol, Cal Fire, and others to rapidly respond to issues as they arise. In response to the record snowfall, Caltrans has redirected all available crews into the mountains to reopen roadways bringing operators as far away as the Bay Area to assist. And Caltrans alone has over 1,300 field staff clearing mountain highways, working 24-7 in 12-hour shifts, and deployed more than 600 snow plows statewide. The CHP is monitoring road conditions, respons responding to calls for assistance, and working to keep travelers safe. And here at the State Operations Center, Cal OES has mission tasks numerous state agencies to provide support operations, including to Cal Fire to assist Caltrans and local governments to clear trees and debris from local roads and critical lifelines, the California Energy Commission to assess fuel reliability, and the National Guard to open up armories as shelters. And we are working to ensure continuity of supply chain, coordinating closely with organizations such as the California Grocers Association on supply chain resiliency. In addition, the Cal OES Fire and Rescue Division is coordinating with counties to pre-position fire and rescue apparatus and personnel around burn scar areas to augment local resources in preparation for significant new weather events, allowing teams to quickly mobilize in the event of mud flows, avalanches, or flash floods. We also continue to focus on protecting the health of our most vulnerable Californians who would be disproportionately affected by long-term power outages and winter storm, including having the California Department of Social Services coordinate closely with the American Red Cross and county offices of emergency services on assisting with needs such as warming shelters and commodities. As well, we are closely working with our investor-owned utilities to ensure power is restored as quickly as possible and that they provide any needed support to the most vulnerable. This includes ensuring that pg and &E is working to, on outreach to residents without power in hard to reach areas, working with independent living centers to provide resources to the most vulnerable community members and those with access and functional needs, and establishing multiple community resource centers in foothill communities. These CRCs, as they're called, will provide services such as power charging stations, snacks, water, and blankets. In particular, the State Operations Center is coordinating with pg and &E and the counties to facilitate and prioritize access for crews to gain entrance to areas hardest hit or hardest to reach. We've made it very clear to pg and &E that sustained long-term power outages are not acceptable, and they are working hard to meet restoration metrics. Overall, much thanks goes to our local, state, and private sector partners for the tremendous work this past week to keep Californians safe. Local governments have stepped up to provide resources, including warming shelters, emergency response teams, charging areas, and shelters for those who may need it. As a reminder, if you find you need help with local resources or services, please dial 211 or 311 to get help or ask questions. And of course, if you have a critical emergency, call 911. Finally, as we look at the weather forecast over the next few days, don't let these sunny days and the holiday weekend fool you. Another storm system is approaching, and we are reminding you not to travel to the Sierras unless you are a resident or there's an essential need. More snow and rain will cause dangerous conditions for motorists and those working to clear the roads. Please do your part 
Be prepared, stay off the roads, and stay safe. Together, we will get through these storms. Thank you.